That is one big pile of shit. Who would have thought that the man who helmed the Godfather could make this? If you weren't aware, he actually self-funded this movie for something like 120 million from his wine business or something. And look, I'm not wanting to poo-poo on someone's passion project, but really? He must have been on some hard-hitting drugs if he thought this was a good idea to release in cinemas. A conflict between Caesar, a genius artist who seeks to leap into a utopian, idealistic future and his opposition, Mayor Franklin Cicero, who remains committed to a regressive status quo, perpetuating greed, special interests, and partisan warfare. That description right there is a lot more entertaining than the movie itself, unfortunately. Megalopolis is totally homemade for the you just don't get it, bro. Kind of people. So much rubbish is spewed out of these people's mouths and it is so mind numbing. The most interesting moment is the argument I had with myself to walk out or not of this movie. It's trying to be so clever with something to say on society, politics, humankind, which the whole politics at play in this movie. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace had better politics than this. And hey, maybe it does make some interesting points, but it is just completely ruined by the fact that it's just a complete gobbledygook coming out of these people. It's like if Marcus Aurelius, who is actually mentioned here, unfortunately for him, was completely drunk and just walked into a meeting yabbering on and making no sense. Sure, it sounds smart, big words, but really it's just incoherent noise. I couldn't give a toss what these people were saying. I was so actively bored, fidgeting in the seat. I looked at my phone, I think probably about 10 times, hoping and praying if there is a God above that this movie is about to end. And it was like halfway. I'd really love to know why these actors took this film. A lot of that self-funding I can only imagine was to pay these actors to, to do this. Sure, Shia LaBeouf, because at the minute he seems like he may need to get any role he can get his hands on, which by the way, he is possibly the biggest culprit of this, but the acting it is so over the top and that guy, I actually don't mind Shia LaBeouf in a lot of roles, but in this, what are you doing mate? Like. The costumes and the sets for each scene are without a doubt the best thing of this film, actually successfully and stunningly in areas, portraying the look and the feel of this modern Rome. Whenever talking was happening, and believe me, there is a lot of it, and it ain't good, that is the only thing that I could try and pay attention to, to keep me remotely interested in keeping my eyes on the screen. I did enjoy moments in this film, and one of them is where you see Caesar drawing up these like concept images for his new world, like a concept art book. I went from this to this. Hmm. I would rather watch Strangers Chapter 1 than this. To really understand the extent of that statement, I recommend you to check out my review, because that movie I wasn't a fan of, it's fair to say, but I would take that over this any day. Three out of the six people walked out of the cinema, and they are all the more smarter for it. The moment I had a glimpse that this movie was about to finish, I was out of my chair like a slingshot. If, for whatever reason, you did go and check this out, or you are still interested in going to see it, let us know your thoughts. Am I an idiot? Let me know. But in the meantime, check out one of these videos and save your brain cells in the meantime.